What's up everyone, how we doing? In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the 80s Action Heroes event in Black Ops Cold War. This event is similar to previous ones that we've seen in the past. There are 18 total challenges available for you to do in any order that you want to. Nine of them are for Warzone, and the other nine challenges are for Cold War, which you can either complete in multiplayer or zombies. In this video, I'm going to be concentrating on the Black Ops Cold War section of the event, but if you're interested in the Warzone side of it, I'll link my video about that in the pinned comment below, where I go over the challenges for Warzone and give some tips and tricks for getting them done easily. Like I mentioned, you can either do the 9 Cold War challenges in either multiplayer or zombies. For a lot of them, you simply need to get certain medals in game, which you can earn in both modes. So if you wanted to, you could chip away at each challenge in the different modes, if that's what you wanted to do. The medals themselves aren't exactly hard to earn, it's just figuring out what you actually need to do in game, which is the annoying part, so it's mostly what I'll be explaining in this video. Now before we do jump into it, if you do find some value in this video, please make sure to leave a like on it. And if you're not already, then consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with my other Call of Duty related videos. The first challenge is to simply complete 7 multiplayer matches, or you can complete 7 zombies games that reach at least round 5. This challenge is just going to do itself as you try to complete the other ones, but if you're looking to get this done quickly, they just added Cranked back into Zombies, which will give you games that get to round 5 super quick. The next challenge is to either win 3 multiplayer matches, or play 3 zombie games that last until round 15. Again, this challenge is just going to do itself as you play, but if you want to try and get them done quickly, maybe jump into a game of free-for-all, as you only need to place in the top 3 for this to count as a win, and you won't have any jabroni teammates to weigh you down. The third challenge is to either get 100 eliminations in multiplayer, or in zombies, you need to earn 100 slaughter medals. 100 kills in multiplayer is pretty self-explanatory, but in Zombies, to earn a Slaughter Medal, you need to get 5 kills within a short time, which is also pretty straightforward. Moving on from that, the next challenge is to earn 25 Have a Blast Medals in either game mode. To earn a Have a Blast Medal in multiplayer, you simply just need to get kills with explosives, like grenades or a rocket launcher, and this will be easiest to do in a Hardcore mode. Or in Zombies, to get one of these medals, you need to kill 3 or more Zombies with explosives, which again, you can get with grenades, launchers, or even the War Machine. The next challenge is to earn 25 Become War medals while using automatic weapons. Now in multiplayer, this means that you need to get a double kill or more without reloading an automatic weapon, like an SMG, assault rifle, or an LMG. And for some reason, this medal in multiplayer is actually called Fully Loaded. But in Zombies, the medal is called Become War, and to earn one, you need to kill 10 or more zombies rapidly without reloading an automatic weapon. You'll smash these ones out in Zombies by using an LMG or any auto weapon with an insta-kill active. The next challenge is to earn 25 Light em Up medals, which in multiplayer is to just get 25 kills with the Death Machine, and in Zombies, you need to rapidly kill 5 or more Zombies with the Death Machine. For the next one, you need to earn 25 This Is Personal medals. Now in multiplayer, that means you just need to get 25 kills with a knife or a melee weapon, and in Zombies, it means that you need to get 7 rapid kills with a knife or a melee weapon 25 times. Again in Zombies, the new Cranked mode is perfect for this, as you start off with a knife anyway, and it's super fast paced. I actually managed to complete this entire challenge in one game of Cranked. The second to last challenge is to either get 3 kills without dying 10 times in multiplayer, or in Zombies, get 10 Jackrabbit kills, which is to kill 20 zombies in a row without taking any damage. Finally, the last challenge is to earn 10 chopped up medals with a tomahawk. In multiplayer, you'll earn the medal simply by getting a single kill with a tomahawk, or in zombies, you need to kill 3 or more zombies rapidly with a tomahawk. Like I say, most of these challenges are really simple to earn in game, so there's not really a lot of tips to offer to get them done, 
but rather the annoying part is just knowing what you actually need to do because the challenge descriptions aren't super clear. I hope that you found this video useful so you know exactly what you need to do to complete these challenges in Cold War and unlock the Flamebearer DMR blueprint as well as the other items for each of the single challenges. Good luck with finishing this event in Cold War, remember if you're interested in the Warzone side of things I'll have that video linked in the pinned comment below. Please make sure to drop a like on the video and I'll catch you next time. You take it easy.